So last week, Boris Johnson accused Keir Starmer of failing to prosecute Jimmy Savile. Now this was during the time that Starmer was head of public prosecutions. This claim has been parroted by the far right, although Starmer was the head of the DVP. There are many saying that he wasn't directly involved in the case, but doesn't the fish rot from the head where streeting? The radical centrists, by no surprise, have rallied behind Starmer, calling out Johnson for baseless smears and attacks. Are you joking me? It seems that 2015 to 2019 was a period when baseless attacks were fine, apparently. Some of the same centrist hacks who are defending Starmer participated in the outrageous claims against Jeremy Corbyn. The liberal class, they don't give an ounce of thought into truth and decency, well, unless there's a guy they happen to like. So much so that there are now those coming out from the cracks suggesting the EHRC is beholden to the Conservative Party. Well, it seems it was only a conspiracy when Corbyn said it. So what is this all about? It's called the Corbyn derangement syndrome. Yes, this is another video about Jeremy Corbyn and I make no apologies. The left are often accused of not letting Jeremy Corbyn go and to an extent, I agree with it. However, it's the liberal pundits who are obsessed with him and it's them who force the left to come out and defend him. Jeremy Corbyn is an anti-Semite, a, a Czech spy, a terrorist sympathiser and he didn't bow enough for the cenotaph. It's important to note that I'm not targeting the right-wing press here. They're irrelevant and the crap they publish is standard practice. Emma Barnett forgetting she wasn't on Fox News, asking Angela Rayner whether she would nationalise sausages during the debate about climate change. The BBC, a beacon of truth and integrity, compared Corbyn to Donald Trump. Everybody knows that Bernie Sanders was the closest equivalent, what with them having a similar policy platform, supporting the same social democratic agenda, and even staff from Sanders' campaign coming over to Britain to help the Labour Party in the 2017 general election. We also got to see the fantastic Photoshop skills from the Newsnight team, editing Corbyn to look like Stalin in front of a red backdrop and Russian typography. This all may seem acceptable to the mainstream commentariat, but this is incredibly damaging to democracy. It's an attack on activists, members, and millions who voted for the Labour Party. These guys have no decency about them. Clueless idiots pushing a crap centrist ideology of things can't get better. Well, I suppose it makes sense. Normal politics has been restored. No threat from Starmer. So attacking the Tories is fashionable again. To the James O'Briens, the Joe Morgans of the world, your lack of insight into politics, aside from a very thin veneer of seeing politics as a game, isn't fooling anyone. We know you lot are full of it but I'm glad it's doing wonders for your career. If you were to promote a moderate social democratic agenda, similar to the models in Europe, expect relentless and absurd lies thrown your way. If you bring people into your top team who have been associated with paedophiles such as Jeffrey Epstein, then you'll probably be fine.